There are many buildings in which the columns are not necessarily vertical. They may be off by like five degrees. So you can assign the incline, and we don't want it to be a, designed as a brace. We still want it to be, an, be designed as a beam. So we, uh, we've allowed those kind of options so that when you have you know, complicated structures like this, you see, those are all the wording, those elements along the W going up and down. Those are still columns, and they will Get have 20 different seismic loading conditions from various directions. And then when you start doing the combinations, you've got, you know, a combination X plus dead load, combination Y plus dead, then the combination of minus X, minus Y. And then within the earthquake load, there will be one condition which will say earthquake in the X, earthquake at 45 degrees, earthquake at 30 degrees, earthquake at 90 degrees, but it's only your earthquake load. It's just like a time history analysis uh, where, well, let's just start with a single structure that is a for the whole structure, we got diaphragms for, for you know distribution of shear applied load API so, now for ETABs. And a uh, uh, lot of people have already done an incredible amount of work uh, using SAPS API where they where they actually drive ETABs from outside the program but by just making API calls. So people like Tecla, for instance. They've already interfaced their whole system within ETABs so they can actually embed ETABs inside, create all of the model with their Tecla interface. It creates the ETABs model automatically. They can activate running ETABs from Tecla, get all the design results, pull all of the design now results in, out uh, in extruded form so that you can get really, really nice animated pictures. and. Um, uh, I've also uh, uh, been talking to a musician. It just makes your drawing experience much more uh, easy. Uh, available right from the tree. You just click through the tree, you will instantaneously, and, and right from there you can get all of the dialog boxes by just clicking on, say, one concrete section. You know what, want to know what the exact properties are. You click right on the tree, the dialog box comes up. And all of the dialog boxes for the assignments and the displays, they are now all non-modal. They're all modal, so that they stay there. And uh, if you want to, like, say, that, look at the deformed shape under dead load, you just click there. And if you want to change it to live load, you don't have to do anything. Do one mouse click, and the live load display shape comes up. So it's all you know, from the usability standpoint. Now look at this, I mean, you've got all these drawings, like this is a steel detail, you've got all the connection, you know, you've got all these moment connections shown, you've got all the sizes, you've got all the composite beam information, I mean, all of that stuff you've got, and it's a complete, you know, it's still not complete in the sense that there's other information that needs to go on the drawing, but it's definitely a starting point. We want to continue to work more in this environment, uh, to, to complete this, the, the technical advance. This is what all the stuff that I talked about so far is stuff that we, in some way or the other, did before, only now we're doing it better. You know, it's looking much more prettier. And, but look at that. I mean, you, you put your, we, you've got a spot where you can put your logo in also, and you know, it's, it's just, uh, you, know, you just push the button, you have all your drawings, you just go build the building, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So it's extremely fast. The, the, the new solver that we have in, in there, uh, and we, we've got some examples here, but there's a, um, so, where's that one? Okay. We used to take two and a half hours in each as V9. It's eight minutes in this. But look at the one. You have like two million equations nearly down there um, with a, with a uh, one area. And then we've, we've also released, we're also releasing a 64-bit version of the task. Well, that is the dimension with which the column needs to be manufactured so that when you rebuild the structure and you keep loading it, you end up with the horizontal structure. So in the shape finding, it's just a mechanism which allows you to define as to what should be the 
manufacturing dens of members so that when they actually are built support so that if you can actually come in and put a mat foundation underneath a particular ECAB's building, uh, it will allow for non-union supports for uplift. Uh, so you can take care of uplift in footings and, and foundations.